Hello, so this is a very quick demo of uh, what I did uh, with HoloLens on Forge. So originally this file is, is a Revit file um, and we have a building, uh, a house. Um, so everything is being imported completely automatically. There's absolutely no manual uh, steps. Um, and you can see that when I move my cursor on, on the model, there is a, a little tooltips appearing. And for example, here it says basic row from, on a number between brackets. So the, the number between brackets is a unique identifier into the model. And basic roof is just the label of properties we can get from this object. Um, so we could, from the properties, extract almost anything we want. Um, what is cool with HoloLens is, as you see, I position the model on the table and now I can have some voice command like bigger um, to make the, the model bigger and I can continue to increase this, so bigger, 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 one more time, bigger, bigger. So now we have our house big enough so it fills my room. Uh, I can go on, on go around, inspect things, but I can also dive in the model. Uh, so for example, I'm diving into um, the main room and I think, oh yeah, sorry, that's the kitchen. So I have the kitchen right there. Um, I have the corridor, I can see the stairs. Uh, if I move here, so I can see the basement stairs. Uh, and eventually I, I could walk in or I can just step up and then I am on the first floor now so this is the stairs we are seeing before and that's the, that's the room here and I still have the tooltip so here it says floor 79101 what, whatsoever uh, if I want to know the matter I could I could ask for it um, so that's pretty cool, but I can do a few other things. So uh, let's come back to say reset. Reset. So what we can, can do now is something like explode. Uh, because Forge can explode the model, uh, sorry, can, oh yeah, I say explode, so it's exploding one more steps. Um, it exports material geometry, but as well how the original file was designed. So we still have the Iraq information. So with a simple algorithm, we could go in the model and explode it. So on a house, doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'll show you a mechanical model in a minute. So I say combine to bring it back. Combine. And here's the model. Uh, which is back. So for um, for a building, I'm more thinking about exploding by floors uh, on things like that, so I'm still working on it. So let's switch to, to another model. So I have a little menu for that, which I'm um, working on. So I already say the name, so it, it brings back, and I have this mechanical model. So I can say load, load, and now I have this nice mechanical piece and I can go around it like, like the house and I still have the tooltip, I can get details if I want. And I can say explode. And this is where it's interesting because now for a mechanical part it's more interesting to go and see the different things being assembled. But I can say also select select and now I have a red wireframe around the object I selected and if I say move move or put yeah then um, I could eventually move objects around and and do some assembling uh, real so combine Combine. And you see the selection is still active. 
Um, you can see that when I move from one side to another, since I'm calculating the silhouette real time, uh, the red edges moving. So all that's being very powerful in that regard. Um, um, I hope you enjoy the demo. Um, what was interesting as well is I'm just showing it as a single user, but we can share the scene and I can work with my colleagues so I can see them interacting while I'm watching and commenting. Hope you enjoy that and see you later. Bye bye. C'est bon, tu peux couper.